This video is going to show you how to establish communication to an animatic smart motor using the SMI software. Right now I have the SMI software open. I have 24 to 48 volts DC connected to the motor. And the way I know that is I have a red LED on the motor. It could also be green if you have a program in the motor and it's running. I am connected to COM1, and you'll see my COM ports in the white configuration window on the left hand side. If you do not see this configuration window, please go up to View and select Configuration. There should be a check mark there. If there's a check mark, that means the configuration window is on the page. If I select Configuration right now, it will uncheck it, and you'll see the configuration window disappear. If I go back to View, that now has no check mark next to configuration and I select it to check it I will see the white configuration window pop back up. Since I am on COM1 I'm gonna right click and select address RS-232 chain. It's gonna pop up a message that's gonna warn me that um, the software is gonna issue an N command stopping uh, program execution do you wish to continue? And I'm going to select yes. Now it's going through the addressing pr uh, procedure and there's the motor information right there. You will know you're addressed when the motor icon pops up underneath the COM port. And because I selected address RS-232 chain, it says motor1, COM1. It'll always say COM1 because I'm in COM1, but motor1 can change. For instance, if I had address, I set the address to number three in a program in the motor, instead of addressing the motor, I would have select, right clicked on the COM port and selected detect motors on RS-232 chain. And when I did that, motor three, it would, it would say motor three COM1 right here. But anytime you address it and you have one motor on the communication chain, it will always address it to motor one. Now if I right click on motor1 one, COM1, one, I'm going to select motor view. And you see this is motor view that's pulling some typical data that you want to get out of the motor. Presently it says not pulling. So what I want to do is I want to select pull and now it says online. I can turn the motor shaft and see this position value change. I could see velocity change and position error change and fluctuate a little bit. You can also select temperature and see the temperature in degrees C and select voltage and see voltage. You divide that number by 10 and you'll get that they'll be in volts DC. So I'm right around 24 volts DC. One other thing I want to note is that the servo, the mode of operation is servo off and that's consistent with the motor drive off bit. It's not an error it's just a status word so just because there's a red dot here does not mean there's an error even though there's a lot of them that have error uh, bits but the motor drive is off and the red LED on the motor as shown in the image at the lower left hand corner is on if the motor drive was on you would see a green LED and the way I'm going to turn it on is go back over to the terminal window and type an uppercase G for go now you'll see that the motor of operation went to relative. The LED on the motor is green now, and the motor drive bit has gone off. It's a low state, it's gray. And right here it tells you zero volts is gray, five volts is red. And here is your IOs, by the way. All IOs by default on the smart motor are active high because there is an internal 5K pull up resistor. There's other videos on more details on other features of this polling window and this motor view. Please refer to those videos for more information. If you were not able to get to this point and establish communication in the motor and see a motor con icon pop up, then I would check your, your uh, connection between your computer and the motor. First verifying that there's some kind of LED on the motor turned on, a red or a green one, making sure you have power to the motor. 
and secondly checking that connection for RS-232. The transmit of the computer should be connected to the receive of the motor and the transmit of the motor should be connected to the receive of the computer. If all that is still connected correctly and you can establish communication, you may have a program in the motor that is bl uh, blocking you from communicating to it. One thing you can do is use our communication lockup wizard and select communication at the top. You can drop down and select communication lockup wizard. This will bring you through a process of turning on and off the motor. Right now it says please turn off the motor and click continue. I'll make sure I'm on COM1. I'm going to turn off the power to the motor, hit continue. Now apply power to the motor and then click continue. So let me put power to the motor. My red LED is on since I don't have a program in the motor, so I know power's on, uh, connected to the motor. I'm going to hit continue. Now it's going through trying to detect the smart motor, and after that, it, if it does not, if it's not able to detect it because there's no address in the motor, it's going to go through and ask me to stop program execution and address the motor. So now it's addressing the motor, and you'll see it. It will tell you its uh, communication has been uh, successfully established. You do have a couple options here. You can upload the program, maybe find out what was. Uh, blocking communication to the motor or you can just clear the program. I'm just going to close it for now. If you close it and you still you forget that you want to clear it or upload the program, you could still right click on motor 1, com 1 and see those options.